Hi, my name is Adrian, and I have some experience in growing bamboo. Now that we have a fair amount of it that's mature, I've been looking for a project in which to feature some of its uh, characteristics and advantages. After some consideration, I settled on building a Pacific Pro. And um, I will, in the next few videos, be going through and showing you how I did that. So I put together a few videos to show you how I built the Pro. Um, and before we get into that, I'll take you, walk you through a few of the features of bamboo and why I chose it. We're fortunate now that at this time of the year, um, towards the end of the rainy season, the new shoots come out of the ground. And here you can see um, how the shoots emerge. They will grow their full height and girth within three to four months. Technically bamboo is a grass, so it can be cut and harvested annually. It's light in weight and has a tensile st strength similar to that of steel making it very attractive for these kind of projects. Here's a nice example of a shoot and while they're this size they are edible they just have to be uh, prepared properly um, by boiling them in salt water for about 20 minutes and uh, yeah they great food additives. So as I said, these calms will reach their full height within three to four months, but um, they should only be harvested after three years. The first year, they produce what we call a water shoot, and uh, basically it's just mainly moisture, and it will take a further two years to lignify and fully mature, and they should be harvested before five years, um, because after that they start dying. The older mature calms are easily um, identifiable from the newer, younger ones because you tend to see a lot more uh, growth and uh, colouring on them whereas the newer shoots are very green and uh, don't have any growth or fungus on them. There are two main types of bamboo, clumping species and running species. Here are examples of clumping species. They tend to grow more in tropical areas and have larger, heavier culms. So here's a typical example of a clumping bamboo on the left. And you can see it comes out in a tuft and it sort of stays that way. Whereas on the right here, you can see a grove of uh, running bamboo and uh, yeah it, it kind of spreads pretty much like this cuckoo grass and um, some people find it invasive obviously if in a confined area it will be problematic but generally it only grows where there's lots of water and um, they typically spread probably a meter to three meters per annum so in a commercial or agricultural setting I don't think it's a problem. So here we can look a bit closer at the running bamboo. You'll see it competes very well with the cuckoo which is a very very tough and aggressive grass but um, underneath uh, once the bamboo establishes itself it shows out its competition and uh, does very well. All right but for today that's all we're going to talk about bamboo and we're going to now focus a bit more on the proa. I began by building a simple model using um, bamboo and polystyrene and then tested in the port. The asymmetrical shape of the hull means that without the rudder, this will turn into the wind. Let's watch it again.
One's facing the wind. Notice how a backdraft causes the um, armor or the side float to stabilize the boat from tipping over. To try and get the craft to hold the straight course, I put the small rudder on the side of the hull, known as the rocker. Let's see what happens. Encouraged by the success achieved with my simple bamboo and polystyrene model, I decided to get one from a pro and learn more about the details. Through the WAM organization in the Marshall Islands, um, I managed to get them to send me a model built by, it looks like, a Luti. So thanks very much for that. And yeah, this was a great help. Beautifully crafted in traditional materials and built to scale. So this helped me a lot in understanding how, you know, I might be able to do something similar with bamboo. Lastly, I ordered a copy of Gary Deerking's book, Building Outrigger Sailing Canoes, which is an invaluable resource if you're trying to do this for the first time and yeah it helped me tremendously so let's get started
spent the summer on you Our troubles all on the rocks Our troubles all on the rocks Filling our plastic cups Don't bother if inside We spent those long hot nights Until the sky turned blue When I spent the summer on you Spent the summer on you Most things in life ain't free Most things in life ain't free But you are all that I need My feet down in the sand You take the watch from my hand And said it's no When I spent the summer on you I spent the summer on you And when I look back on those days There's not a thing that I would change So when the year is through, I'll be right here to spend the summer on you.